Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix TeamViewer when file transfer doesn't start. Sometimes you want to transfer or share files between PCs in TeamViewer and it simply doesn't work. Problems can vary from glitches within TeamViewer sessions, a bad internet connection or a glitch in the operating system. But don't worry, stay tuned and you'll be able to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution could be starting a new TeamViewer session. In your current session, move your cursor to the top of the screen to reveal the hidden menu. Then expand the Actions section. Now click on End Session. After ending the session, start the new one and check if the issue is still there. If you are connected to someone else's PC and the TeamViewer file transfer doesn't start, try opening another session. Simply terminate the one you're currently on and start a new one. Another possible solution could be simply restarting your PC. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner, then clicking on the Power icon. Choose Restart from the menu. This is a basic solution, but several users reported that their issue was resolved after both they and the remote PC were restarted, so we encourage you to try this. You could also try checking your internet connection. It is known that TeamViewer doesn't take up a lot of bandwidth. It's almost to the point where activating it is almost unnoticeable. However, the same cannot be said when trying to transfer files. To fix this, just stop any processes on your PC that may be taking up bandwidth, such as torrents or streaming, and try again. In addition, it would be a good idea to test your internet speed and ensure that everything is working properly before trying to transfer files via TeamViewer. Another great solution could be closing the background processes. To do that, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to start Task Manager, then click on Name to sort your applications. Afterwards, right-click the application that you want to close and choose End Task. Repeat this step for all applications except TeamViewer. This is because file transfers in TeamViewer are also a bit more resource-intensive than when just connecting. That is why it is advised that you close all programs that may be running in the background. Additionally, you could also ask the person you're trying to transfer files to do so as well. And another possible solution could be checking what exactly you're trying to send. As a security measure, TeamViewer prevents users from sending or receiving files to and from certain system directories. This is an added measure to prevent unwanted system corruption. As a workaround, send whatever files need transferring to some other location, such as the desktop, and then move the files from there. This is a simple workaround, but it might work for some users if the team viewer file transfer doesn't start. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.